Cody Rhodes officially addressed the idea of facing Roman Reigns, so we'll take a look at that. We'll also see what the latest on Brock Lesnar's return is, Edge's comments, and more, starting off with everything Brock Lesnar related. Brock Lesnar's WWE return in August 2021 really shook WWE to its core and brought back one of the biggest stars after such a long hiatus from the company. Not only was Brock Lesnar back, but he was back with a whole new look, persona, and entire vibe to his portrayal and character. And pretty much since that August return, Brock has been a borderline full-time superstar. He feuded with Roman, obviously, most of the time. But he also feuded with Bobby Lashley and appeared on Raw and SmackDown for so many months straight. One of the most active, engaging, and entertaining runs that Brock has had in a really long time. Brock Lesnar's segments were interesting and always pushed the story forward during this run. Everyone appreciated and loved having Brock around full-time leading up to WrestleMania. But what about what's next? Is Brock taking a hiatus? Is he sticking around? Well, local WrestleMania backlash advertisements are currently listing Brock Lesnar for the show. Brock is also advertised for July's Money in the Bank event as well. So those are two Brock Lesnar appearances that are currently being advertised at the moment. If he does appear at Backlash, does he get yet again another rematch with Roman? Or what exactly will his role be at the event if he does appear? Because the way Roman spoke after the WrestleMania win made it look like Brock Lesnar's chapter was closed for good. But with Backlash only a few weeks away, is that really enough time for Brock to start a whole new feud? Or will we see another Roman vs. Brock match? But that's the latest on Brock Lesnar's return. He's currently advertised for Backlash and July events, so we'll have to see what the plans are for him. Edge is currently at the start of a very interesting arc, with his entire formation of his new faction with Damian Priest. We saw Edge go on a massive babyface run following his miracle return to the ring, and it surely was a great run. From facing Randy Orton to Seth Rollins to Roman Reigns and more, but after two years, it was time for another big change, and that brought us the new heel version of Edge. We've seen an Edge heel version before. Everyone remembers his legendary feuds with John Cena as a heel, but we've never seen heel Edge look quite like the way he is right now. This heel turn made Edge to be more dark and more mysterious, almost like a pure villain sort of vibe to him. Edge now has Damian Priest as his main enforcer and is rumored to be getting new male and female members added to the group as time goes on. So it's going to be very interesting to keep an eye on that group and how Edge is able to pull them up with him. As far as Edge's future in the ring goes, he recently spoke with Steven's wrestling journey and had this to say when asked about his wrestling future, quote, Won't be 10 years, definitely won't be 10. I doubt it'll be 5. It's going to be before that. I don't even think it's going to be 3. I don't know, but I don't think it's going to be that long. I know the window is small, end quote. Edge will be 49 years old this October, and he's doubting if he'll wrestle even 3 years. So if Edge sticks to the plan, he'll be retired again in his early 50s in the next few years here. Heel Edge is great. It's interesting to see what will get done with his faction. But hopefully we do get the opportunity to see Babyface Edge again during that final run of Edge's career. This is actually something that WWE legend Bully Ray recently talked about on his show. He talked about how it's a bit strange for WWE fans to be forced to boo superstars like Edge and Becky Lynch. Everyone knows Edge's story. Being forced into retirement right in his prime and being able to fight through that and make an iconic return to wrestling in his late 40s. So Bully Ray's argument is that it's too hard to root against Edge if you know his whole story and everything he went through over these last few years of being in early retirement. He says the same argument for Becky Lynch Becky had a story and journey that's hard to root against. Everyone was waiting for her big return in 2021, but she immediately turned heel and we never got to see what a babyface run would have looked like for Becky coming back from her pregnancy. 
She got the big SummerSlam reaction, but after 26 seconds and what she did in that match, the audience was sort of forced to root against her now. So you can sort of understand where Bully Ray is coming from. Sure, these superstars are doing great heel work, but it's hard to root against great people like Edge and Becky Lynch. But that's the latest on Edge so far. So if it's only a handful of years left for Edge in the ring, we have to appreciate him fully before he steps away. The return of Cody Rhodes was one of the biggest returns the WWE has seen in quite some time. If you go back just two or three years ago, the conversation of Cody Rhodes returning to WWE would have been a complete joke and something that people would have laughed at. But fast forward just a few years later and a lot has changed. One of the founding pieces of AEW, Cody Rhodes, is back with WWE. And it's very intriguing because Cody hasn't wrestled anyone in a WWE locker room in over six years. There's a lot of fresh faces for Cody and a lot of familiar faces that have just become even bigger stars since he left. Everyone thinks that Cody Rhodes will complete his mission of capturing the WWE world title for his father. A lot of fans are putting him on the list of WWE superstars who were released, came back, and won the title. This list includes superstars like Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley, two superstars who WWE cut just like nothing at one point, but worked their way back to return and win the title multiple times. So everyone expects Cody to join that list of released superstars who returned and won the WWE title. Cody Rhodes was recently a guest on WWE's The Bump and was asked about a potential matchup with Roman Reigns for the title. He praised Roman's work and had this to say, quote, When I left here, Roman Reigns was on top, and I think Roman Reigns was experiencing some of the negative byproduct of being on top, some of the pushback that a new face, a new individual faces. But the thing that makes a champion in any company is consistency. When he said, Dallas, Texas, acknowledge me, and whether they're supposed to boo, cheer, whatever it may be, and they acknowledge him, he has truly gotten over via consistency and via hard work. What he has going now with Paul Heyman and with the Usos, he's an intimidating presence. Obviously, again, it exists. There's a match out there that is likely the match that exists out there. But before the matches, you've got to cross paths in some capacity, and we haven't yet. And I look forward to that, end quote. And Cody is right. He can't just face Roman next week. They have to cross paths first. They have to interact, tease the match, and then start building towards it. Everyone expects to see Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns down the line, but not anytime soon because Cody needs some time and some momentum behind him in order to even challenge Roman. The popular fan guesses right now is still maybe around SummerSlam, but maybe it's sooner. Maybe it's even further down the line after SummerSlam. We'll just have to wait and see for the matchup. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.